We're at Rob Chu's garage, which if you saw the last episode of Technique, we did his S2000. We are doing KW DDC coilovers on an E92 M3. We're gonna focus on how you set the right height and how you corner balance them. That's mainly the advantage of going to coilovers is not just being able to lower it, but to maintain an ideal weight distribution. So we're gonna show you that. Then afterwards, there's gonna be a link to see the step-by-step -step install on the E92M3 with the KW coilovers. We just eyeballed the ride height and just threw it on because we were running out of time. And the car's just way too low in the rear, so we're gonna raise the rear. And once we've got the ride height set to how we want it in the rear, we'll adjust the front so that the weight distribution matches the original layout. That's correct. So we're gonna remove the wheel first and it's just easier to get to the coilover adjustment. Um, with the wheels on, it's, it's pretty far in, into the chassis, so it's just easier to remove the wheels. So we're gonna do that first, and since we know that, um, we're gonna roughly adjust the, the car one inch. We sort of could figure out how much we need to raise the rear uh, coilover. So, if Brian will hand me the tool, uh, the adjustment spanner. spanner. So we're gonna measure the distance between the collar and the top of the perch, and I'm measuring about 13 and a half millimeters. And we wanna write this number down so that way when we're gonna be raising it, we know roughly what the other side is. So 13.5 millimeters here. And then we're gonna measure the other side when we get to that side. And then once we, I make the uh, adjustment on the perch, we're gonna write the new number here. One thing, I guess you could look at a vehicle as far as front to rear and side to side when you're adjusting the corner balance weight is that a car is like a tripod. If you raise one side of the vehicle or one corner of the vehicle, it will affect the other opposite corner. So the one thing you need to do is you sort of need to predict how it will affect each corner. If you raise, just say, the left rear of the vehicle, it's going to affect the right front of the vehicle. So one thing that when you're doing is when you're cornering balancing a vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the perch uh, and increase the distance between the collar and the perch, which also, also which in turn increases the height of the vehicle. So we're just going to get that up to about 20 millimeters to equal the other side. And then hopefully we're going to measure the height of the car again and hopefully Brian will be happy with that because I don't want to do the other side anymore. <laughs> How do you like that, Brian? How do I like them apples? You are half a finger. Yeah. With you in it. What do you think? Is that too low? I think it's a little low. Wait, is it low? Yeah. Let's go like that. Probably need to do another five mil. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, that's definitely much better. I bought these scales off my favorite website, Craigslist. The guy was selling the scale and the ram for a great deal. I couldn't pass up, so I bought them. So now everybody comes to my house to corner bounce the car. <laughs> now, right now, we're all zeroed out and we're going to lower the car. It's so funny. I would have thought lowering the right front would have made the right front heavier. No. Because uh, it, it, it's like a teeter totter right. almost. So, huh. so we're going to lower the right front a little bit. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna release the Allen key that prevents the lock car from moving. So we're gonna loosen a couple teeth, or a couple of turns. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower this side down a little bit, just to so affect the weight balance of the vehicle. And a couple turns, that's good for now. We won't lock them down yet because we don't know how much we need to turn. So this, was, this is a picture we took of the car before we put the coilovers. So these are the numbers we're trying to get close to. And you can see on the scales right now, we're a little off. So what we're doing now is we're weighing the vehicle, or we're corner balancing the vehicle with Brian in the vehicle. You know, Brian is 200 plus pounds, so 
200 plus pounds on the left side of the vehicle will make a big difference as far as how the car handles. One of the good things about having a you know, corner balance scale is we can adjust the coilovers to balance out the vehicle. Right now we're looking at you know, a front to rear bias of 50.2 to 49.8 in the front, which is pretty much 50-50, or as close as you're going to get it. And then as far as the cross weight, we're looking at 50.4 to 49.6. So the good thing about that is that the vehicle should handle about the same when you make left or right hand turns. We just wrapped up the corner weighting. Rob set it all up. I'm uh, internally grateful to him. We got, <laughs> I think, really good weight splits and took us probably about three and a half hours. Yeah, three and a half hours. So a lot of the time was probably spent on just stopping and filming. So. It usually takes about an hour, hour and a half to really set up a car, but this car was a little bit more difficult because of the fact that the rear perch was just a little bit hard to accept, have, I guess, access, access to. Yeah. So, but most cars, you know, it doesn't take that long, but, you know, some cars take longer than others, but, you know, hopefully when Brian drives a car, it'll be nice and fun. And this, this is in contrast to the 11 hours, the install took. Yeah. <laughs> the install was by far like 85% of the time, if not 90% yeah. of the time. The install, which you guys will see later, is, is complicated. Yeah, that would be saying it's complicated. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a Facebook relationship status. Yeah. <laughs>